<laughs> Hello and welcome to my channel. This is a general bonus reading for the month of June 2022. If you're interested in a more like in-depth reading regarding your zodiac sign or someone else's, I'm going to put a link at the end of this video. So you're just gonna click it and you're gonna go right there. In that video I made a couple of days ago, um, I have also added um, a crystal ball reading, which actually was very, very interesting. And I'm going to keep that one because I really enjoyed it. So I really hope that you also enjoy it. So, chop, chop, chop. Let's start. <laughs> so, yes, the general theme for the month of June is communication okay communication we want to communicate it could also be that someone is about to take a risk to communicate with you okay hmm <laughs> three of wands i was waiting for you to call me to text me but you're not doing it so i'll do it i'll do it i'll come towards you okay says the emperor the emperor has been waiting for you but where are you where are you mm. let's see what does the emperor want uh -huh. i feel that you're not communicating because you want you desire for this constant like kind of like cycle that it keeps like repeating mm -hmm, to end you want the cycle that keeps repeating to come to a completion and never repeat again this is why you're not communicating got it soulmate energy six of cups there is a strong connection no one can deny that not you not them. Let's see. High Priestess. Um, I also feel with the High Priestess that you are somehow guided not to initiate. Now again, if you are guided to initiate, okay, let's say you are guided to initiate, don't ignore your intuition okay okay it's very important that whatever i say or whatever others reader uh, other readers say is for you to listen to your intuition listen to your higher self okay it's very important justice Justice is going to be served no matter what. No matter what. We have a King of Pentacles energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Now, if you are an earth sign or you have a lot of earth energy in your chart, as I said earlier, and it's not only for you, but okay. You want to end the cycle you are looking into your future in that new day that is rising for you okay now earth energy the king of pentacles as earth energy and you don't have to be an earth sign you do not have to be a taurus a virgo or a capricorn okay uh, but i'm sure you have earth energy in your chart yeah however the king of pentacles is holding a pentacle in his hand, a seed, okay? So before he plants that seed in the ground, he wants to make sure that the ground is fertile. So it is as if you are assessing or like, um,
checking out, assessing, hmm, if this ground is fertile. Hmm. Is it? Is it? Because a lot of you have already planted not just one seed, plenty, and none of them have grown. Okay? So again, it's like, is a realization somehow that you have in your hands a seed, okay? Are you willing to plant this seed in the same ground, in the same area, in the same place, with the same person? You understand what I mean? Uh, a lot of you are not willing to do that. Now, this is very interesting because I'm talking about seeds and I have a very interesting pen <laughs> that I want to show you. It's a sprout, isn't it? It is, yes. I don't know if you call it like that. It, it is, look at that. I don't know if you can, it is a, yeah. Isn't that cute? <laughs> it's interesting, it was just lying here. Okay. So, we plant the seed and we are expecting for it to sprout. If it doesn't, then hello, take your seed somewhere else and plant it somewhere else. New day, new dawn. Thank you very much. Let's move on. I'm telling you. Look. Look. This person is waiting. It could be also that they are waiting for this new day. Meaning... Listen, it's not for all of you, okay? I'm gonna be honest. It's not for all of you, this message. But it could be that this person is waiting also for this change, is hoping and wishing for this cycle to come to a completion so that the, 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 the so that the, blah, blah, so that the two of you can start together a new cycle. Okay, yes. Now for others of you, this person is just like... Not used to it, but they're like, yeah, okay. I know the story. She, he, whatever, they know. They will call me eventually. They will send me a message eventually. Like, they will contact me when they want. This is how it's the pattern. Thank you, spirit. The pattern. But you want to get off that train. Ooh, you want to get off that train. Okay, I like that one. You know, oh, oh. Now I'm telling you, you want to get off that train. Because adventure awaits. And this has not been an adventure. It hasn't. It has become a burden. Mm? Okay. Let's see. Let's see. What is the message here? A lot of confusion with the moon. The moon is also illusion. Is also secrets. There is something that you cannot see, but you can feel. Okay. And it's interesting because we also have the full moon that is coming up in Sagittarius. And I did mention in, in, in the reading I did for June for all zodiac signs for June 2022. As I said earlier, I'm going to put a link at the end of this video that you are going to receive a message three days before the full moon or three days after the full moon. Now, three days is very like... It's like very like, um, you know, it's like, it's, it's, I don't really like to do that, but I felt it. So it could be four days. It could be five days, but you know, yes, th yes. Thank you. Look, the, the, the cycle that is coming to completion with the world. Mm -hmm. Now this message that we are going to receive, it doesn't have to be from a specific person. It could be though. 
okay? It could be regarding love. It could be regarding career and finances. It could be just something that you have been waiting for and you hear, you know, you get that message signifying, giving you whatever, how you call it, the green light to move forward. But it could also be the message that we are going to receive. It could be a message as coming through as a clarity from the universe, from the divine, from God. You can call it whatever you want, okay? It's all about receiving message, receiving clarity regarding a situation that has become a burden that is um, holding you back, okay? Thank you. So, two more shuffles and we are ready. You're going to be very happy with the Ten of Cups. You're going to be very happy. So this is good news, okay? It's good news. Uh, exactly. Receiving communication. Thank you. The Empress on the bottom of the deck. Now, the Empress is a very passive energy, but she is, when she is in that passive energy, how can I explain that now? She's, she's preparing. You know when a woman is pregnant, right? Yes? She's preparing to give birth. You are preparing. I feel that you are getting, like you, you are in that preparation, I, I hope I'm using the right words, for that new adventure. First card for you. <laughs> Sorry, but yeah, hello. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, and I'm feeling good. Page of Cups. So the Page of Cups is a surprise, a good one. But it could also mean that someone here is surprised that you're not coming towards their way. Not anymore, okay? Because I said earlier, it has been a pattern. Let's see. Oh, the Five of Swords. Uh -huh. This person feels defeated. It was about time. This is what I heard. They feel defeated. And I'm not happy because they feel defeated, but it's just like it is what it is, right? star now the star is a very healing energy is also a wish coming true I'm also getting that this person with this page of cups energy is receiving their own message from the universe, from the divine, from God, from their higher self, okay? Uh, they did a boo-boo. <laughs> and for a lot of you, not all of you, okay? Because I don't, I don't want to give people false hope. This is not nice. And this is something also that you have to realize, especially those of you that are watching tarot readings on YouTube, okay? It's not a personal reading. We read energies, the energies that are surrounding us. At least this is what I'm doing, okay? The energy is there. The potential is there, okay? If it comes into fruition or not, that's another thing. Because there are a lot of factors, right, that are taking place or will take place. Mm -hmm. Okay? So... We have the Wheel of Fortune. Again, it's all about letting go and allowing the change to come. It's, like, it's Again, we have that wheel, right? That wheel. It's like you are ex accepting, you are accepting that there is a change that is taking place. And you have to allow this change to take place. And that could mean many things 
right, for each and every one of you is going to be different. Yes, exactly. That's why we also offer personal readings. Yes. Okay. Knight of Pentacles. You see that seed again? Now, the Knight of Pentacles is Earth Energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This is the slowest night in the deck. But she knows, he is aware, he is aware, he knows because he, had, he has made his, uh, he has received the, the information, he has, um, how you say that? He knows where he's going to plant the seed. He knows. He's not just going like the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is someone that is like, okay, let's go. No, the Knight of Pentacles is totally different. Okay. Before he plants his seed, he's going to make sure, he's going to make sure that his seed is going to sprout. Okay. The Death card. Oh my goodness. Transformation. Death. Rebirth. Yes, this is all about death and rebirth, endings and new beginnings. Fa. Yes, I was to say mm -mm, if the F word is not nice, but yeah. We have the fool. And it's all about taking a risk. Okay? Because even though, right, even though you you are sure, the Knight of Pentacles, as I said earlier, the Knight of Pentacles is sure that um from the information he has received okay that the ground where he's going to plant his seed is fertile but then again then again there are energies that are higher than him higher than her higher than any any one of us they're higher energies that we have no control we have no control over that this is why when we go, when we are on our path and we just go, we trust and have faith that even though we are sure, even though we are sure 100% that our seed is going to sprout, if it doesn't, if it doesn't, because I said earlier, we, we don't have control. We cannot control everything. There's something higher than us. We must trust and have faith that everything unfolds the way it should. And don't forget that you were guided, you were guided for, for a reason, to go and plant your seed there. There, yes. You can call it whatever you want. Lesson, growth, spiritual growth. It, it, again, it could be many things, but it is for your highest good. So there's no mistakes. There are no mistakes, there are only lessons, okay? So, I want to clarify the death card, Scorpio energy. Thank you. We have the five of pentacles. Someone does feel left out in the cold. Okay? Someone feels left out in the cold. Because of this change. That is very necessary. Okay? With the Eight of Pentacles, someone is willing to put effort and work to restore things. Are they doing? Are they doing that? Well, they want to come towards your way or you want to head towards this person's way. It depends. It could, it could be vice versa. Okay? We have the Chariot. The Chariot and the Six of Swords is a, like a moving forward energy. But the Four of Pentacles is holding back. Yes, Cancer energy here. Why is that? Why is this? Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Mm. And again, I'm not saying it in a bad way or in a ha 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 because it's not nice. But someone here is learning a lesson. That's why they feel left out in the cold. Hello and good morning. We have the Six of Wands here. Someone is hurt. Is this seven? Six, excuse me. Nine of Wands, hello, good morning. 
excuse me. I'm, this is like the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. This is like the first time I'm counting ones. <laughs> okay, nine of ones. Six of ones is victory though. So someone wants victory with you. They feel hurt. You see, they feel hurt. Why? Because they know that you are a soulmate. They know that you, they feel your absence, okay? They feel your absence. You were something good in their life. You were something beautiful in their life, you know? And ghosting you or treating you in a bad way or not fairly, they're missing out. And again, I'm picking up this Ace of Swords energy. It's all about communicating our truths. People do not communicate their truths. And this is why we, we, you know, we get confused or we, we get misunderstood or we assume things. We need to ask questions. We need to speak our truth. Okay? And many people do not do that because they're afraid. They are afraid of what the other pe person may say, what the other person may think. No. Okay? I want to clarify the Ten of Swords. No. The Page of Cups. The Page of Cups. Uh, the Seven of Wands. No. It seems here with the Seven of Wands and the Page of Cups, or that someone is resisting coming towards you. It could also mean that you are resisting going towards someone because, again, you want to end that cycle. Which, okay, I get it. We'll see. Ace of Wands and the world. Oh, my goodness. And we have the King of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Energy. You are resist. You are fighting if it feels like you are fighting okay to get that ace of wands to start this new cycle to do things in a different way okay because you know that this is for your highest good you know that You are going to get, I feel that a lot of us are going to get a big, big surprise here, as I said, okay? I feel that this is going to be some, a form of, uh, a form of a, um, unexpected communication, unexpected encounter. This is something unexpected that is going to bring a lot of joy, okay? A lot of joy. Look. We have the four of wands, the two of cups, the five, what did I say? Four of wands, two of cups, five of wands, and the king of cups here. Now the king of cups, even though is a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, a king of cups is someone that has very deep feelings. This is someone that could be in love, someone that is not expressing their love, okay? Now, so excuse me, because the five of wands was near the king of cups. I feel that this, per it, 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 and again, it doesn't have to be a water sign. This is an energy. Okay. This is an energy of someone being in their feelings. Someone is in their feelings. It's as if they're fighting themselves. Okay. Because again, there are deep emotions here. Come on, you are soulmates. It could be that this person is realizing uh, the depth, the significance. Is that correct? Is that the significance, yes, of your connection? Well, we'll see, right? We'll see. I want to clarify the Two of Cups before I, I end this. We also have the Hierophant. The Hierophant is all about tradition, Commitment is like a tradition kind of uh, tradition, traditional energy. Okay, let's clarify the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups, please. Thank you, Spirit. We have the Queen of Cups, man, I'm telling you. 
you don't trust this person because they are in that night of one's energy they're all over the place they were all over the place they were juggling they were not committing and what does really commitment mean to you what does commitment mean to you I would really like to know because you know we'll talk we talk about commitment it's like a friend could be committed to, to, to a friendship yes anyway okay so we have a queen of cups here I'm gonna end it here okay and you, you do not need to know tarot we have the queen and the king of cups both of these people are holding cups there is love there are feelings we need to speak okay we need to speak our truth and if it's not reciprocated then you will know what is going on and what you have to do if this is not the case if this is not the case if this is not your truth if this is not your reality I repeat if this is not a reciprocated feeling then you will know what to do but you need to speak okay now let's see what um what message because you deserve that everyone deserves this energy everyone deserves this you deserve it i deserve it everyone deserves this thank you so let's see thank you freedom haha uh -huh. extraordinary freedom I no longer want this fairy ring of resentment to block the good release me from its bonds freedom freedom okay and I am getting intuitively that a lot of you want to free yourself from your own restrictions. This is very strong. From your own restrictions. Okay. I really hope this reading helped somehow, some way. Bye. Bye.